Well, this year we have seen a huge shift in Canadians focusing on their homes. Many Canadians are undertaking home improvements during the pandemic, both big and small. Rob Vossler is the Executive Vice President of Sales and Operations and Principal Broker at Union Power Insurance Brokers and back on Morning Live with some helpful advice regarding it at home rentals. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Uh, good morning, Bob. My pleasure. Thank you. Uh, we have some um, assembled uh, questions from and for viewers. First one. I have just contracted a company to begin renovations to add a covered garage to my home. Do I have to tell my insurance company? Okay, uh, short answer, uh, yes, absolutely. And th there's all sorts of things to consider. So let's start. Uh, number one, uh, talk to your broker before you start the project because your insurance policy has special clauses, exclusions, limitations when it comes to renovations and, and construction projects. So that's key, talk to your broker first. Also, who is insuring the project? Is it you or is it the contractor? Um, if it's the contractor, you need to get proof that he or she is indeed insuring the project. Um, similarly, is the contractor itself insured? You wanna get a certificate of insurance, proof that he, she is, is insured to do what, what uh, you've hired them to do. Um, once the project's done, let's make sure you have adequate limits on your home policy. If the garage costs 100000 to build, and, and these days with lumber prices, that, that's easily possible, you know, you, you need to increase your policy limits. Last but not least, don't do cash jobs because if you're not paying taxes on, on large projects, um, your insurance policy has exclusions on illegal uh, property acquired or things like you didn't pay tax, you didn't pay duty. Oh, well, that's an important tip. Okay, here's another question. My mother recently moved in with my family, so we've added a loft to our home to extend our living space. Do I need more insurance coverage? So similar to above, you, you, you would indeed. And uh, once again, you know, talk to your broker because he or she will go through a home evaluation with you if you've made major changes or if you bought a new home and the loft would show up in that valuation. Uh, you know, rule of thumb, if you spend 75000 to do the loft, you need to add 75000 to your policy at minimum. Uh, other things to consider, you know, your mother's contents. If she's moving in with, you know, jewelry or, or 50000 or 100000 worth of contents, make sure somebody's insuring it, either on your policy as a family member or your mother buys a tenant's package. Okay, here's one many viewers would be interested in. With our children back at home, we've decided to add a pool and hot tub to our outdoor space. Nice. How does this affect my home insurance, and do I need liability coverage? So once again, you, you, we see a lot of uh, unhappy results in the industry in general when people are underinsured. Uh, again, I mentioned lumber prices. So if you're adding a pool these days to add a pool, it can easily be, you know, seventy-five, dollars $100,000. So again, make sure your policy limits are adequate. Uh, number two, you were right, you have a liability exposure. You know, if someone gets hurt in your pool, God forbid, or your hot tub, and you get sued, you don't want your insurance company saying, well, wait a minute, we didn't know you had a pool. So always full disclosure, let your insurance company and your broker know what it is you're doing, uh, especially when it comes to adding pools. Okay, and still with the backyard and just a few seconds left, but what about just a simple uh, deck or patio extension? Uh, you know, if, again, if, if, if you get a contractor to do it, make sure they're insured to do it, and, you know, that, that's key. If it's a, you know, a, a three, four, five thousand dollar $5,000 deck improvement, I would probably wait until your home policy renews, uh, review your, your renewal with your broker, and say, oh, by the way, we did add a deck for 5000 And, uh, you know, they, they may increase the limit, or they may just leave it as is, right. because it, it okay. just jumped with inflation. Mm -hmm. Well, lots to think about with these rentals. Thanks for the uh, helpful advice. Rob Vossler with Union Anytime. Power Insurance Brokers. Good to see you again. Thank you, Bob.